said that's asking the question of her seeking an advice from a sheikh and her husband uh, forbidding her from doing so and she does she is divorced uh, first of all uh, it is not the right attitude of the husband to stop the wife from seeking advice the same thing that the sahaba or the male sahaba is to seek advice from the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam the female sahaba is to seek advice from the prophet alayhi salatu wasallam and the prophet alayhi salatu wasallam even gave them one full day for them just he sits down and teaches them and gives them advice uh, for the husband to stop his wife from seeking advice that's wrong because the same thing that men want spiritual guidance women also want spiritual guidance so where are they going to get that from if they're not going to ask a sheikh but at the same time since the husband had already made an oath that if you ask a sheikh or you seek a, a advice from a sheikh you are divorced well i have to say that if she does seek an advice from a sheikh then she will be divorced that's why I do advise the sister uh, to deal with hikmah and um, I would not say not to seek advice from a sheikh because she probably needs but not to seek an advice from the sheikh directly maybe if she wants an advice from a sheikh let her ask someone to ask the sheikh in this way she could protect herself from falling into divorce because since the husband had already said that if you seek an advice from a sheikh you are divorced then if she does seek an advice from a sheikh then she will be divorced and that means directly if she seeks an advice and indirectly by her speaking to someone to speak to the sheikh and then the sheikh will answer this person on her behalf then that means she had protected her soul from falling into divorce and I advise the husband for Allah Azza wa Jal, with the way he's treating his wife if what the wife is saying is right and at the same time I say to the wife to have patience on the attitude of her husband Insha'Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will soften the hearts and Allah Azza wa Jalla will bring your hearts together.